United Democratic Movement leader Jero Banto Lomisa has leveled serious allegations against the defense and military veterans minister Nosiviwe Mapisa Ngakula. He's accused of receiving cash and gifts totaling 5 million rand from a South African National Defense Force contractor. That's between 2017 and 2019. The allegations are contained in a letter General Lomisa sent to the chairperson of Parliament's Joint Standing Committee of Defense last week. The UDM leader joins us now. Very good evening to you, General, and thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, good evening, Tepiso and our viewers. Mm. Perhaps to start at the beginning, how did you come across the information? Was it something uh, that came as a result of a whistleblower, or is there something else? Yes, I did stumble to a list of questions which came from a certain journalist asking the Minister of Defence. And I guess that uh, other members of the Joint Standing Committee on Defence were, and also Portfolio Committee on Defence, might have uh, received the same line of questions. But what I did was to be responsible and not to be accused that I, I, I did hide the information. Mm. I thought the, 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 the letter, I uh, wrote a letter to the Joint Standing Committee on uh, Defense Force. Uh, so that Joint Standing Committee on Defense Force, therefore, uh, would be the appropriate uh, body, because I don't know why did they chose to send those questions. Uh, to my office. So we have written things to the minister, to, to the department, and I hope that, I mean, rather to the portfolio, I mean, to the Joint Standing Committee on, on Defense. Hopefully, they will uh, react to that, react uh, in the form of saying, one, can we verify the authenticity or otherwise of this serious allegation. Uh, two, we must give the opportunity to the minister to respond formally. Okay. And, and, and General, this is the part where I want to ensure that we're framing the discussion correctly and also apportioning uh, yes. the right action to the right person. So... What you are saying to the committee is that you want them to follow up. So what you're saying is that the allegations don't necessarily originate from you. You are not the one making the allegations that she received cash and gifts to the tune of 5 million rand. Uh, Am I understanding uh, you correctly? You are 150% correct because they don't emanate from myself. This is a, 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 an allegation which was sent to to my office and i have to be responsible because whistleblowers in this country uh, normally they will emerge later and if you think that the matter is very serious you have to take it up uh, i didn't underestimate uh, the timelines which were contained in that uh, line of question from a certain journalist because it would appear that the person who, who is alleging, he or she has information. What is going to happen now if the portfolio committee, if I may advise the portfolio, I mean the joint standing committee, would be to say, let's give the minister first an opportunity. Yes, I've seen her statement this afternoon. Uh, he, she is not denying, other than to say, ah, well, if we have something reported to the police, uh, a person of her stature or would have expected her to condemn and distance herself from such mm. uh, behavior. But uh, we are not here, there, not as yet there now. And I'm glad you say that, General, because in, in conversation with her spokesperson, our producer uh, was told that these are rumours. So the veracity of the information is being questioned. But I want to go to something more important. You've been quoted as saying 
that you didn't write to President Cyril Ramaphosa because the minister's husband, Charles Ngakula, is a national security advisor for the president. Was it lack of faith in the presidency to deal with this issue, or did you feel that it was, uh, there was a more appropriate fora that could deal with it? Uh, I have to confirm to you and the viewers of this uh, of your channel that I have written letters to the president before, and in particular about the Minister of Education on issues related to NSFAS, which you all know that uh, is, is in shambles. But uh, the response I got from the office of the president was that I must go to the police or this and that. And, this that the sitters and then I was I was pissed off. I must so I'm sorry to use that word and I apologize. But <clears throat> in this case I had no option but to say I cannot refer it to the president. Because when you write to the office of the president, though that correspondent correspondence doesn't go to the president first. It's normally you are answered by juniors. And uh, if now you write uh, to the president about the wife of the, his security advisor, it's, it's going to be squashed completely. Okay. So it was a perceived so conflict of interest. General, just a yes, final question. The minister has challenged you to go to law enforcement agencies to open a case, but you have said that you are not making the allegations, you are bringing it before the Portfolio mm. Committee to look into it. What would you deem as a satisfactory answer and a, a process that would be satisfactory enough for you to know that this has been properly ventilated and within the public domain, isn't there's been transparency? Uh, regrettable, I cannot take instructions from somebody who is... Uh, deemed to be a suspect at, at this point in time. The portfolio, the, the Joint Standing Committee must table a, that a report to the portfolio, to the committee in general. Let the other political parties ventilate on it. In that letter, you will recall that uh, I've suggested that uh, it might well be that we should institute an inquiry to look at the, the whole thing, in, in particular, uh, the conduct of forensic auditing and uh, also do a, a, I don't want to call it a due diligence, but, <laughs> but to say, uh, let's look at this house, which is alleged to have been renovated against the timeline. Mr. Minister, did you fly to Ghana on this particular day? Uh, yes, but how did this person know that you, did, you, go, you went there? And so on. So those timelines must be tested against uh, her telephone. She has to surrender her telephone at some stage so that you check whether the, the accuser is correct to say on this day I was here delivering so many so much money. This day I was here. So then it's, it's, she has to cool down. She can't dictate to me that I must go to police. I've been I've long been in this game. So she, she has to, to cool down. Portfolio the, 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 the joint standing committee must discuss the matter and say, yeah, we need uh, a, an audit a lifestyle audit for this to check whether indeed she did re renovate her house between this period and this period. Don't worry. All right. The United Democratic Movement leader, General Bantu Olomisa, thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you. Now, as for comment, Defence and Military Veterans Minister Nosivio Mapisa Ngakula says she stands by the statement issued following the publication of the allegations in a Sunday newspaper. According to the statement, the minister views the allegations as serious and says they should be reported to any law enforcement agency, including the National Prosecuting Authority. 
The minister has further challenged Olumisa, General Olumisa to report the matter to law enforcement agencies. She says the UDM leader should also provide evidence and allow the matter to be ventilated in a court of law. We're going to